Welcome back, everybody, to another relaxing Q&A with me, Gator the Legend. First question here comes from Boba Fett, and he asks, Hey big boy, what are your thoughts on iDubs and Tanya Mongoya? Obviously I'm on the same side as every single other person, including Tanya herself, and that's iDub Psy. Tanya recently released an apology video, is saying as much. However, I do want to point out one thing. This chick's only 18 years old, guys. That's still a child. I don't care what you say. If you disagree with me, it's because you're around the same age. It's the only possible reason you'd have to disagree with me. I'm not going to have any 30, 35 year olds or older on this video commenting that I'm wrong about 18 being an adult age. They're all going to agree because at a certain point you realize that the immaturity of an 18 year old is absolutely astronomical. They have no idea what they're doing. They definitely shouldn't be able to make the decision to join the fucking military. And I just think that the age of adult should be pushed to 21. That's, there's a reason why you have to be 21 to buy alcohol. You get a few years out in the real world, you have to earn it, you know? You, you have to earn drinking alcohol. That's kind of, that's how, that's why I feel like it's at 21. And that's what I feel like joining the military or being considered an adult should be. You, you have to earn it by actually doing it first. You don't just grab a baseball bat and say, I'm a baseball player. No, you gotta go play some fucking baseball first. Next up, we have multiple questions from Kathy Bennett. So let's get right into it. What is your favorite food? Where do you go to half slash get it? And what brand is it if you get it at a grocery store? Also, what is your favorite style of music and who is your favorite musical artist? What is the one place in the world you would like to visit most? And finally, what is your favorite car brand and what is your favorite overall car? My favorite food is meatloaf. I get all the ingredients at Kroger's. No fucking idea what brands I get, whatever's cheapest. Uh, I love all music, all genres of music. There's something that I'm gonna find that I love in it, uh, but I do lean towards rock and roll. When it comes to my favorite bands, it's a, it's a fucking tie. It's a, it's a tie between the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Modest Mouse. I can listen to both of them for the rest of my life and be absolutely fine. They're absolutely amazing. I really wanna go to Ireland. I've wanted to go to Ireland my whole entire life. It's where my ancestors come from. So it'd be really nice to go there and check it out. My favorite uh, brand of car is Dodge, and my favorite overall car is easily the Dodge Viper. And I do swear to you guys, there's going to be a day where the old Gator is going to at least get the opportunity to ride in a Dodge Viper. It's going to happen. Next question comes from Overlean. He says, I'm sure you answered this before, but what happened to the Poon? You are correct. I've not only answered this before, I've answered it multiple times. The Poon and that guy got too big of heads, thought that I was the reason we weren't super successful, wanted me to step behind the camera and just do all the work while they did all the fun, and I said no. So they went off, started their own channel, failed miserably, never made another video other than one, quit, and haven't really done anything since. I've shown zero interest in that and zero support of me. Next question comes from Shane Miller. He says, congrats on the total view count, and where did the car vlogs go? Well, thank you for the congrats. I'm very happy about the total view count as well. Uh, kicking some arsh. Uh, the car vlogs, they disappeared because I was only doing those out of necessity. I uh, had no time to film other than when I was literally driving to work and back home. And that was it. So I did some car vlogs just to get some videos out there for you guys and to get some things I was wanting to say off my chest and into the video and onto the screen. I have absolutely nothing against bringing the car vlogs back. If that's what the people want, I don't really care. I'm filming the vlog regardless. I don't care if I'm in my car, at this desk, or on the fucking shitter. Next question comes from Jug Boy. He says, what sort of YouTubers do you enjoy watching the most? I'll just give you guys a quick list of the people that I watch on a daily basis. iDubs TV, H3H3, PewDiePie, except for his gaming videos. I find those super boring. A lot of the smaller videos I watch would be Chainax25, JBo's TV, okay. Sonic LOL Productions, Confident Gaming, and basically anyone else who's on my awesome channels list. If you go to my YouTube page, you'll see an awesome channels list over there. Go there, just fucking subscribe all the way down and enjoy. Speaking of Chainax25, the next question comes from him. Can I live with you again? Mom kicked me out of the house because my porn was too loud. I'm living in a trash can outside the Chick-fil-A so I can get some free Wi-Fi. No, you can't move in. I mean, fuck, you're doing better than I was doing at your age. You have fucking Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi didn't even exist when I was a kid. Next question comes from Anonymous9001. He says, hey sexy, who do you plan to kill on Purge Night? And can I see your puppers? Listen folks, I think people are forgetting. Purge Night wasn't ever meant to just be about killing. For some reason, that's the way the movies have gone. But in reality, on Purge Night, all crime is legal. 
all of it. So I wouldn't be wasting my time killing somebody. It gets me nowhere. I'm going to be robbing banks, robbing stores, anywhere I can get some fucking quick cash. I'm going to go fucking steal it and go hide it back at my place. Uh, duh. Or at the very least, I'll go torrent some movies off the internet. Uh, I guess, sure, you can see my puppers. So here's Lacey, guys. My new enemy. Who, look, look at her. She wants to eat my face. I told you guys. Dogs are brutal. Evil killing machine. Look at that. That's an evil killing machine. Oh, look at them freaking teeth. Oh, you want to say hi, Lacey? Say hi, Lacey. Hi, Lacey. All right, you saw my freaking puppers. Next question comes from Groovy444. He says, how long will you conceal your gayness? Hey, listen, buddy. I've never concealed my gayness. Never. Honestly, I believe everybody has a little gay in them. My little gay is called Enrique. The big stinkers say, do you orgasm every time you get a new sub? I mean, damn near. I gotta be honest, I'm getting about five to ten new subs a day right now, and I'm not a young pup anymore. I, it's really hard to fucking uh, come five to ten times in a day. I'm lucky if I can do two to three. Next question comes from Robert Ali. He asks, will you ever reunite with Poon? I gotta be honest with you, it's not looking good. Like I said earlier in the video, uh, he, he's moved away. He moved away uh, fucking to the other side of the United States. So it's going to be really hard for us ever to do anything. Uh, but obviously, if we ever get the opportunity, I would love to. I love making videos with Poon and that guy. It was a lot of fun, despite how shitty they were. Jack Arbiter asks, what is your favorite type of gator? And also, why haven't you cleaned your cum-stained beard yet? Uh, my favorite kind of gator, I, I guess, alley? Alligator? I don't... I don't fucking know different kinds of gators. I thought they were all kind of the same thing. I guess my favorite gator is Gator the Legend. As far as the cum stain, I mean, it's not, it's not that bad, guys. It's not that bad. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. By the time my mother was 35, she was like completely gray. So I'm probably headed down the same fucking road. I'm 29 right now. So that gives me about six years before I'm just completely gray. Perhaps I'll be able to play Santa Claus or something. Danny K asked, what letter does your middle name start with? Uh, it starts with an E. Uh, my middle name is Eugene. It's fucking awful. Billy Fookboy asks, can you kill me? Well, I mean, if I sneak up behind you and I'm, you know, swift enough, perhaps I could. Uh, I mean, I consider myself not much of a fighter. I used to fight a lot in high school, or I guess a better way to put it is I used to get my ass kicked a lot in high school. But other than that, I don't know. I, I'm not really one to kill. I, I'd make love to you. Passionate, sweet love that lasts for hours on end, perhaps even weeks on end. But beyond that, fighting's not really my thing, brah. Chabot43 asks, do you really eat shit on your tacos in front of small children? Now, this is from the song at the end of every one of my videos. It's, uh, it's called Hashtag for the Views. It was a song I made uh, fucking, I don't know, a year ago or something. And in it, I go, I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. Yeah, anyways, I don't really eat shit on my tacos in front of ch small children. If you keep listening to the song, you'll notice I say, am I a meme yet? The whole point of that song was, uh, or that part of the song, was me trying to become a meme. Because memes are, let's be honest, it's just people saying ridiculous shit. People say something absolutely ridiculous to make you go, what the fuck? Or, oh shit! Or something like that, and you're like, oh, I'm putting that on a picture of something to make it ironic. Boom, meme. Or whatever, you know, it's just fucking memes. And I was trying to be a meme by saying dumb shit, like I eat shit on tacos in front of two children, or asking why I'm unable to fit more than two dicks into my ass. Next question comes from Sheepdog Sherlock. He asks, on a more serious note, when in the fuck are you going to open a P.O. box? You know how many giant dildos are piling up at my house? This is something I've been badgered about by, uh, you know, actually quite a few diff p different people out there. And I really do want to open a P.O. box. I I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't want to lie to you guys. I'm lazy. I've been super lazy. But I have to go renew my tags this month because my birthday's coming up. So, uh, and that's right next to the P.O. box place. So maybe I'll swing by there and do it then. And now time for every hater's favorite part of the video. The last question. And it comes from Toxic the Fox. Gator the Legend, how many black dicks do you suck a day? Depends if I have to work that day. Thank you guys so much for joining in and thank all of you for all your questions. Uh, the people that I didn't get to your questions, I, I do apologize. I did my best to try to get to as many as I can. You know, I can only make these videos so long before people start bitching at me. Um, so hopefully in the future, I, I'll do another, like maybe a secret Q and A where I touch on those. Cause honestly, I believe there's probably enough questions out there to do a whole nother separate Q and A. And as always, I've been the Gator and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children.
I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only really fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet?